okay so welcome back again and uh, we continue our discussion with the simulation of uh, digital logic using keycad software for electronics design and this is a free open source software and in our previous model we just simulated and analyzed the performance of uh, basic nand gate uh, in the 74hc00 uh, series integrated circuit and in that category we learned how to add the manufacturer provided spice model to simulate the behavior of the NAND gate and we just simulated the DC operating point characteristics where we replaced uh, these uh, A and B or rather I would say we provided inputs A and B as a DC signals which uh, switched between 0 and 1 uh, in a static mode. We didn't perform the transient analysis that time. Uh, so we applied all four possible combination because these are the two inputs here. So 2 raised to power 2 becomes 4. So for all four possible combination, for example, A and B are the inputs, 0, 0. A and B are the inputs, 0, 1. A and B becomes one zero and a and b becomes one one and for all these four possible combination we saw what is the output in uh, and that is the dc operating points and uh, here the power supply pins of the nand gate which are pin number 14 and pin number 7 7 is ground 14 is vcc where we provided the logic high uh, and that was uh, uh, this is the voltage level right and the input level when we say logic 0 and logic 1 it uh, in analog terms it is a low voltage of 0 volts and a high voltage of vcc that is 4.5 volt this is how we perform this time we are going to understand the time domain behavior the logic uh, signals uh, with respect to time okay so it's not a kind of timing diagram that we are going to analyze instead we would see if there are like uh, logic pulses applied to inputs a and b or a square waveform with a specified uh, uh, time period and uh, accordingly we will see how the output in uh, time domain will look like here is the load that is the 10 picofarad uh, because uh, the maximum load that we can apply here is uh, less than or equal to 50 picofarad how i know that because i referred to the data sheet of this ic that is 74 hc00 which is a two input quad NAND gates. So in one IC, we have four such NAND gates and I open the data sheet. From the data sheet, I got to know the maximum load I can put up here is capacitive load less than or equal to 50 picofarad. So I use 10 picofarad. Uh, with that said, in, if I double click here, I click the simulation model and in the previous model, I have already shown you this is an important uh, SPICE model from the library. I need the SPICE model from the manufacturer. So I have shown in the previous model how I got the access to that model, how I added this as in the directory shows here and then after clicking here i chose this so this has been explained in our previous model so if you are new and coming here first time you are encouraged to refer to our previous model to understand how to add the spice model next step i also explain the mapping between the symbol pin of the keycad with the model pin of the manufacturer Okay, this process has also been explained to you in the previous model because if you mismatch these one, two, three, two, three, one, this is how, uh, and uh, this is the this is how the sub circuit or macro model for an AND gate is called in the circuit. So if you miss to map this properly between symbol and the model pins, your simulation results will be wrong. So refer to previous model again. Okay, so click okay and click OK here too. 
now uh, you see now I have instead of DC voltage sources in our previous model, unlike in our previous model, we have in this model used the V pulse, pulse voltage source. So it means it has got a positive uh, level or the logic high level and it has got logic low level okay so it is switching between the two levels as we are dealing with the digital circuit or digital logic it has got a binary system we have only two levels logic high logic low or let's say uh, logic one and logic zero or let's say vcc and zero that's how your signal getting switched so uh, this voltage uh, source V4 which is a V pulse source and then there is this voltage source V1 this is a V pulse source. I labeled it as a A and I labeled this as a B. How I did that uh, and similarly here also A and B. How I did that I can just click here and add label instead I say I can choose whether it is input or output so I say it is input so I type A and I select OK and that's how I placed it here. Similarly, I labeled B and placed it here. I placed it A here, I placed B here, okay? That's it. So when you placed it, you just right click and then select transform selection and you can rotate mirror uh, the way you want. For example, you can see here, right? That's it. How I got the V pulse? So I go to add symbol, it opens me a library and here I will type the V pulse. Okay, so I have already placed it. I have recently used it. That's why it is otherwise just type V pulse. You will have this voltage source. Once you have this voltage source, you see that there is the symbol V pulse and, uh, and there are positive and the negative pins of it. There is some information beneath. You actually can see that. This is uh, the data sheet of this voltage source in the ng-spice library. Uh, the two pins are one is positive, two is negative. It is a pulse type voltage source. Uh, and then here are the parameters. So what those parameters are is important by default. Y1 is the logic zero level. Y2 is the logic uh, one level. Or you simply say Y1 is the low voltage y2 is the high voltage because it is switching between the low voltage and the high voltage then td stands for delay time so you see that uh, it starts from the zero but you if you specify it's like two nanoseconds so it will start after two nanoseconds the tr stands for rise time so rise time is this this positive pulse uh, it is taking the signal to go from zero to one or low voltage to high voltage, the time it takes is the rise time. Then fall time TF is two nanosecond. It means the time it takes to for the signal to fall from high level to the low level. That's the fall time. Then width of the pulse is 50 nanosecond, for example, one half cycle. And the total period is this the full cycle of this uh, voltage that is 100 nanosecond. Okay, so I have got this, uh, for example, if I show you, uh, for example, let me just cancel it, press escape button from my keypad so that I get rid of this, uh, selecting this add symbol. And then now I'm free, select here, you see that this, this syntax is associated with the V4 pulse voltage source. And if I select this, this voltage source, uh, this syntax is associated with the V1 voltage source. Now look at this. Uh, for the first line, Y1 is logic zero. That is a low voltage. Y2 is, is VCC. I have chosen it to be a VCC. And that's the maximum supply voltage. Now for this IC, after referring to the manufacturer data sheet, I can have three levels of VCC. It's from the data sheet I'm saying. I can have VCC of 2 volt, 4.5 volt, or 6 volt. So I have chosen 4.5 volt to be my highest logic level or high voltage level in my switching circuit. So I have seen that Y1 of this voltage source, let's say it start from zero and then Y2 level is 4.5 volt. Delay is 2 nanosecond. Rise time is 50 nanosecond. 
uh, fall time is 50 nanoseconds. And now the maximum clock I can apply according to data sheet to this NAND logic is one uh, megahertz. That means so uh, maximum period or the minimum period is the one uh, is is the one microsecond okay that's the minimum i can have uh, so here uh, i choose another parameters if i look for example here i would say i want uh, two microsecond is the period so it means i will say the width is one micron then okay and the rest i keep it same and maybe i want to keep it let's say this goes like 4.5 and then y2 becomes zero. So I'm just uh, trying to uh, adjust the levels here. So this is how I got uh, this V1 voltage source, okay? So this is how you can play around with what you want. So you see now for the logic A, that is the input A, I am applying a clock of one megahertz and two logic, uh, two input B, I am applying the clock of 0 0.5 megahertz or uh, right 0 0.5 megahertz <laughs> um so uh, with that said uh, this is how you know that uh, this is the power rail uh, symbol and uh, power flag why we use it how we use it we, we have explained it in all previous models so refer to that now we are all set to simulate the time domain behavior of the circuit. So logic uh, here is the Y is my output, or I can say X, Y, Z, whatever. And the 10 Pico is my capacitance, okay? So just let me save this here. Once I save it, what I will do, I will uh, first go to electrical rule checker, but we have done that before. So, but still let us click it earlier. I have done it, so it shows zero error. Again, I will run ERC and see if there are any errors. Warning, I can just ignore. It just says that symbol U1 has input pins, uh, unit B, C, D, uh, not, that are not placed. Because in our previous model, we have sh shown that in the 74HC IC, we have got total five units. So unit A is placed here. Unit E is placed here but b c and d are not placed and that's the warning it is issuing that's it so here also unplaced part b e c and d so if we want it in future if we want multiple nand gates you can use them then these warnings will be <coughs> automatically excuse me automatically gone but look at the errors are zero you don't really have any error that's what you want for a perfect and accurate and right simulation click here there is some uh, ignored the spice model issue there is no spice model issue here so it has been ignored close it now you can click here run simulation right over here and now you have to choose first let's say a new analysis obviously you don't want to do the dc operating point because now you are dealing in a time domain you are performing a transient simulation and you want to see how your logic signals for the input and output uh, are behaving with respect to time and you have uh, time domain signals so select transient analysis now the time step uh, the maximum uh, time you have like the final time for example, let's say 10 micron and here you can say 0 0.1 micron. That's what I want. I can see these two optional. So I leave them like that. Click OK. Once I have that, I have got V of A, that is input A, V of B, input B. And uh, where is my output? V of Y is my output. These three I am interested in. OK. So I will click run simulation. You see the simulation is being run. Your sub-circuit of the NAND gate is getting delayed. So here, the important point uh, that you can see here, there's the voltage versus time we are going to plot. So let us plot input A. So you see now a very clean waveform switching between zero to VCC, which is 4.45. Is that 4.45? Yes. And uh, between logic one and zero. And if we see that the B is just reverse uh, and then there is little bit discrepancy in the rise time and the fall time of it. So when your A input is high, B is low. 
and when the b is uh, high a is low vice versa so for all these combinations your output is going to be one that's the behavior of the nand truth table so let us see click here look at this your uh, you 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 see that if you zoom in this particular portion the green is the output so when you say that output is high because uh, one of the input is zero then output is always high and here the green is zero because at this time both inputs are logic one so if you want to check that just unselect the output and you see the red is high the blue is high that's why you have got if you click again the the output becomes zero here also again if the one of the input is low output is high so that verifies your truth table of the nand logic or the boolean expression of nand logic but now you see that there is this possibility all the waveforms are on the same uh, graph how to separate them that is the question so if you right click here and uh, we just uh, see that fit on the screen maybe and uh, you can just explore here some other option uh, user defined signal okay so for example if you click here and then uh, let's say click here and say a and uh, click okay a is okay a has come here and then if you click here but that also goes on the same plot so it's up to you i leave it as an exercise for you just refer to that uh, uh, trick to how to plot the signals on different uh, levels so it's like uh, you i i will show you how to do that for example uh let let me show you that uh, right here so you have to make sure that you get all your signals on different plots. Okay, so I leave it as an exercise for you or we'll do it or cover it in some other sections. So hope you found this uh, time domain simulation of a digital logic useful. If it did so, share it with others and uh, stay tuned for more engaging content like this. Till then, wish you happy learning. Just one more point, you can simply click here and uh, export current plot as png uh, and just uh, so give it a name let's say choose a folder let's say download and just say something some name is can be given similarly you can just uh, go here and click here file and let's say export and drawing to a clipboard and then just paste this schematic on your uh, paint or, or any other software to save the png file okay so come back again for more informative and all that so but the important point here is that we have used all the data sheet parameter after ref, ref, after referring the manufacturer information from the data sheet we are performing an accurate simulation of the nand gate that's an important point here and uh, you can play around with changing the uh, width of the pulse uh, period of the pulse and uh, uh, values of the capacitor uh, for example let me show you if i use 20 pico or maximum let's say uh, 50 pico and see how things behave so click ok uh, let me say unselect this and maybe i have to run simulation again and see how the waveform will behave and look like so it's mostly same okay so that's how you can do it okay so come back again till then wish you happy learning